Hello YouTube fans, here again. Hopefully you can see me, as you can see I've now bought a new light boob. How long it will last, but it seems to be dark bright, apart from it fucking blinding me. It's not bad, so hopefully now you'll be getting the thicker in. I got basically what it was, I got sick of the other light boob. Say it again. I got sick of the other light boob, but you know, I didn't know when I was talking, it went black every few minutes. Every time I was talking, black it went dark, I didn't see me. <laughs> so I hope whoever's watching me wasn't stared of the fucking dark. Because every time I was talking, I was in the dark. And then another light boob, as you know, step thickening and thickening and thickening and getting on my fucking tits. But that's not why I'm speaking, right? Today, I figure I've got to use the audience. You probably won't see me tomorrow, or maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday, I'll see how I feel, because putting it bluntly, I'll probably be getting over an hangover. Say it again, getting over an hangover. Um, with me having the works do, we'll be having the works do um tomorrow so we're gonna have like a thing in that and so on let's talk a little bit about the shop and talk about my topics i'm going to talk about there's a few things i want to talk about to use my youtube fans first thing is i'm happy to say the steam what we used to have on in the shop bernardo's has been removed so it's done now it's done it's umbling it feels like we're back to the panic normality none of this fucking turn off it's shit that it, it's been so many days since we've had that task steam stuck on the side that now it just feels weird. It feels weird not having the steam stood over me. But what, to, to be open and honest, the steam to me was now for use in a fucking Jorex with a hole in. It was now for use in a rubber Johnny with a fucking hole in it. Because, think about it, man, think about it. You've got one side there, you've got another side there. So you've got some dopey fucker stood next to you there. <laughs> dabbing a fucking ray and spitting in your face. The spit could go right over to the steam and hit me in the face. And I never saw the fucking point because the stupid law that the government bought out. But the stupid law, you had to wear the face mask. So what was the fucking point of having the steam anyway? What was the fucking point? But it's gone now. Do you feel for Tino? Really do feel for him. But you know, you know, when you've got a fucking dictomat running the fucking trunty, some fat face footwit running the trunty, another Hitler, another Adam the same, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And I feel for him. I feel, yeah, I know, I know, there's people dying off it. I'm not all the death of da da. I'm not all the death of da da. And I miss sympathy at the moment, as we know. It's with the kids. The kids what have lost their lives. You may have heard on the news they've had some accident with the ice. Right? And my heart goes for the family, goes for the loved ones, and it also goes for the poor lung kids who have lost their lives. You may have heard it on the news. It's sad. So I'm not going to joke about that. I'm not going to be silly. I'm not going to screw anything to get ratings. It's sad. For anyone who uses their life, especially the young kids, it's heartbreaking. So a few minutes silence for the family and for the loved ones and for the ones that lost their lives. Well, that's a sad bit of news. Thank you. My art goes for them. But today I figured I'd about to do a little bit of Peter News, a bit of updates of things, which I'll probably add back onto that when I do Peter News again, is Hollywood. What has happened to Hollywood? I remember doing this one before, and I'm a man of my word. Does Hollywood have any imagination nowadays? Do they have any imagination? Think about it. we got a new Indiana Jones. Now, I love Rages of the Lost Art. I remember a few months ago offending Rages of the Lost Art. Do you think it's a tacit? I love Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Do you think it's a damn good film? Is it a sequel? I'd say more of a prequel, if you know what I mean. And I love Indiana Jones and The Last Two Said. When I get back to my acts in Marathon, I love, love to talk about that damn good film. The distal still 
I enjoyed it when I first saw it on the big screen. Enjoyed it, but over the years, it has not aged well. It's not aged well because you've got the old man's fucking jokes. It does the copy bits from the first one, Bingy Bat Marion. you got CTR fucking rodents. And let's not forget the fucking orphan fucking joke. What are we going to get in the fifth one? What are we going to get in the fifth one? More of the old man jokes. Because in all fairness, Addison Ford, even though I love Addison Ford as an actor, he's not exactly a, a spin chicken anymore. Not being horrible. Not being horrible. Being honest. He's not a spin chicken anymore. He's an old man. He's 70 odd. So he's not going to do a lot. I'm not being horrible. We all get old. Old age sucks bell ends. But it's all, but I'm being honest. I'm being honest. So what's he going to do? What's the fuck is Asa Ford going to do as an old man? Seriously. And I'm thinking to myself, why not bring something similar? Something similar. Or have a longer act to take the war. I know, I know. As a Ford, no one would ever replace it. And then I've heard rumours they're going to bring out another Rambo film. And I'm thinking, shy, come on. Enough. When was the last decent Rambo film? It was what, in 88 when they did the third one? Rambo is there. But in my eyes, First Blood, First Blood Part 2 and Rambo 3, that's it. And then he's doing Cheed, which I call shit. I like Rocky. I like Rocky 1. I like Rocky 2. I like Rocky 3. I like Rocky 4. In my eyes, to the left, it's Rocky 4. You already know what I think about the fifth one. He turns back into a fucking bum. Sixth one, Marion, fucking and Marion, duh, they're going to fucking raid us again. Asian, fucking passes away. Nice. Cheed, you find out the secret of who won that fight in Rocky Fee, you know where it ended, where he had a fight with fucking a poor old Cheed. We didn't want to know that, who does a fuck? Fuck, and then they've, and then I've heard of the rumours, they're going to do a Lethal Weapon 5. Lethal Weapon fucking five. I love one. I love two. I love three. The fourth one, I didn't really think it was needed. The TV series, piece of fucking shit. The fifth one, I heard rumours that they're going to try and make it more serious and so on. And I'm thinking, well, I want to see more of a serious lethal weapon. I'll just go and watch the original. Well, it was basically more of a filler anyway, when you think about it, in 87. And we were talking about it. I love lethal weapon. Maybe it's the theatrical. Or the diet just cut. I love the second one. Dick the matter to Munita. Bang. Just being provoked. I love Lethal Weapon 3. I like the humour in it. I like Dota Pesce. I think he's hilarious. Do we really need a fifth one? Where Mel dipson has got a big right beard. And he looks like he's fucking Santa Toss. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. The then they got another Hellraiser where you go, well, I already said about Hellraiser before, the altered agenda. So now Pinhead is called something else. I think they call it Ainsel or something like that. I don't really do a shit. And fucking it got tits instead of being a, fer a fella. Is that, is that, the, the, that their way of being today, if? And then, then this one just is icing on the tape. The plan of doing another Elm State. They might be doing another remake. Does Hollywood ever fucking learn? Does Hollywood ever learn from their fucking mistakes? Do they ever learn? So it's like I say, does Hollywood ever have any imagination? Why is it they're digging things up from the fucking past? I say it again. Why the fuck is Hollywood digging things up from the fucking past. Oh, let's do another Predator film. Or instead of it being like Arnie, you've got a female. So we all the gender again. What is it with this fucking gender shit? It's not much sexist. I work with women all day in my shop. My manager, beautiful Thursday. She's since I've looked. Well, I don't look down there. I don't look. Well, I do look. But she's a woman since last time I seen her. So I, I'm not. Sexes, I'm not hoministic, but since is that the theater pillars, we just alter the fucking sets and call it a fucking day. Those fuckers, remember that? He remembers the one with the females. The only one I ever remember of that is the fucking porn version when I'm a bit bored and I want to pass the fucking time. Seriously, that's all I fucking remember of that. That's all I remember. Why the fuck are you doing another remake of Elm Street? Seriously, Hollywood. And on art here. And on fucking art. Why the fuck are you wasting money on another Elmsdee? No one but England, no Fedder. No one else can ever do it. 
And it proved it with the shit, mate. It fucking proved it. So you just, you just get to the point where I just get so fed up of them digging things out from the past. I love Die Hard. I love Lethal Weapon. I love Indiana Jones. But, you know, there's a time in your life, there's a time in your life that you've got to say, let it go. Let it go. Like Sean Connery said in The Last Crusade to Inde when he started to get that fucking doldrum up. Inde, let it go. Let it go. That's me with Hollywood. Let it go. Stop duriating and bringing things back from fucking, fucking the past. Forget the past. Let's get new heroes. Let's get new villains in other films. Let's get imagination. I love the 80s, but stop digging things up from the 80s. Let's bring back another 80s when it's something new. Something today if. But is Hollywood ever going to do that? It's fucking Hollywood ever going to do that. So I see it. This day alone, last day and the day before that, I've not once been to the cinema. Not once. Because there's been nothing I wanted to watch. So I've been shit. So I've been deteriorated. Arts and films. Look like a video, Dave. Other movies. Boo. Jump stairs so many times you can make a drinking game out of it. Actors. Fuck it. Love doing it. Pieces of fucking wood. Can't have to say fucking diggity d. Picked because the look, the looking. Look at the shitty fucking remake of Rito for an example with Devin Farrell. Who the fuck remembers him nowadays? Fucking remakes after remakes, duration after duration. You just get to the point. Another avatar. Wow. 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 And you just think to yourself, is this all Hollywood can do? So it's just like I say. I'm going to go on and on about it all day long. It's not going to change things. But Hollywood, when are they going to get imagination? When is something new going to be made? When? Then, then. That's how I see it. But as like I say, if you don't see me tomorrow, I'm hopefully dying to do a video on Thursday, but if I don't, you've got to understand, I'm probably dying of an hangover. <laughs> but hopefully, I'll probably do another video again, talking about how it's nice to have no longer have a fucking steam next to me when I'm fucking surfing people. How oh, happy day. How I feel for fucking sign off. I really do. And so on. But until then, people, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you soon.